Hi everyone, this is Thaddeus, the lead planetarium educator at the Bell Museum's Whitney and Elizabeth McMillan Planetarium. Today I want to show you how you can explore the sky yourself using a Bell Museum Minnesota Skies star map. You can get your own star map online at z.umn.edu slash bellstarmap or at the link below. To use a star map is pretty simple. This circle is the March night sky at around 9 p.m. Central Time. It shows some what you can see when you go outside and look up at the night sky. You might not see everything labeled here. Inside the Twin Cities, the light pollution will hide fainter stars and objects. The center of the map is the part of the sky directly overhead, what we call a zenith. And the very outside edge of the circle is the horizon, where you'll find trees and buildings and confused astronomers wandering around in the dark. Around the horizon are the cardinal directions, north, east, south, and west. To find objects in the sky with the map, you'll need to go outside, make sure you dress warmly, and turn until you're facing the direction you want to look. Once you've done that, turn the star map around its center so that the cardinal direction at the bottom of the map is the same as the direction you're facing outside. Hold the star map up in front of you with the circle facing you, and then look up. Objects near the zenith, the center of the map, should be high overhead, and objects near the horizon, the outer edge of the map, should be lower in the sky in front of you. For example, if you're facing north, you would turn the map so that north is at the bottom of the map, and the other words outside the map would now be upside down. Holding the map up in front of you would show you Polaris halfway between the zenith and the horizon, and the Big Dipper high above your head near the zenith. If you turn to the south, you would rotate the map again so that south is at the bottom of the map. Holding the map up in front of you, the star Sirius will be in the sky to your right, or the southwest, somewhat close to the horizon. Even further to your right, the three stars of Orion's belt will be a little bit higher above the horizon than Sirius. Remember, you can get your own star map online at z.umn.edu slash bellstarmap or at the link below. I hope you all get a chance to go outside and enjoy the sky.